Are you tired of breaking those plastic auto siphons and not being able to get them sanitized? In this video, we're going to look at a possible solution for you, and that's coming up next. Hey everybody, I'm joined here by Anthony from Brew Central, and he has got a possible solution to your auto siphon dilemma. So tell us about the product that you developed, Anthony. Absolutely. Um, right now we're calling it the Brew Siphon, and it is a stainless steel and silicone, fully deconstructable, manually cleanable, totally sanitizable siphon starter. It's got a removable check valve um, with a captured ball and o-ring, which guarantees you you'll never break your check valve mid-transfer. You can take it out if it's gotten clogged with oak chips or loose leaf whole cone hops or whatever. Quickly clean it, put it back together. If you're a sour brewer and you're really starting to experiment with bacteria and other things like that, because it's high heat silicone and all stainless steel, you can put it in the oven and cook it in the oven to give it a heat sanitation as well. Think and autoclave. Yeah, yeah. If you're diehard and you have a big enough autoclave, more power to you. You can call it sterile. That's right. fine sure. with me. Sure. Yeah, we really just thought that it's such an essential tool that has proven itself for so long, so many years, um, that it just needed an upgrade. We had customer after customer come into our homebrew supply store, Sierra Moonshine, in Grass Valley, California, where we started out, and just buy these things over and over and over again. And we got sick and tired of it ourselves. You know, we're pretty aggressive brewers. We brew a lot. And we didn't want to have to use another one. I didn't want to have to open another bag, pull out another thing, and no guarantee as soon as I use it, it's going to break at some point. So yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's absolutely because, you know, you, you put a brush down in a plastic one, you're scratching it, you're letting bacteria grow in there. You got all these other issues with not being, you know, the check valve sticks, all this kind of stuff. So yeah. I, I'm really impressed by your product, I got to say. All right, so uh, tell us a little bit about your unique clip system that you have, because I know, you know, with, with those auto siphons, I mean, they're always dropping down into the yeast. Yeah. They're always falling down when you're trying to bottle with them. You're always having an issue. And from what I've seen online, you have a pretty nice solution for that. So give, give us a little bit of a rundown on what that is. Absolutely. So we, we kind of have, have two pieces, okay? Um, first of all, for folks who are racking out of traditional Italian, Chinese, or old American or Mexican carboys, we've got a carboy sleeve. It's got a, a tapered end, um, a flange to kind of hold it on the neck of the carboy. And it's really just a solid way to have depth adjustment. The harder you push it in the neck of the carboy, the more solid and firm it is in the position you want it. Um, if you want to loosen it up, you kind of just bring it up a little bit and then slide the siphon down. So it's a really superior, very firm, very solid way to, to do your depth adjustment. If you are racking out of a bucket, a kettle, a wide mouth ferment or something like that, you simply flip the carboy sleeve over, put our uh, spring clip, slide that right on here, and then you've got the absolute perfect combination where you're back in the same situation. You can kind of gently loosen it and do the depth adjustment on your bucket, your stainless steel fermenter. Even if you're now fermenting out of kettles or you're racking out of a kettle, that works for that too. So completely solved. And you can just tell how wide this is. This just holds, holds it so it's not flopping all over the place. This is it. This is where you want it to be and it's not going to move. If you get a phone call that you can't, can't drop, while you're transferring, you can jump on that phone call hands-free, <laughs> watch it do its job. It's, it's, it's really perfect. It really solved uh, the shortcomings from the other options, yeah. Awesome, really cool. Uh, innovative design, very simple, very effective, looks really good. Yeah, thank you. Where, is, where exactly is it available at? So you can get it at our website, which is brucecentral.com. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so right now, we're selling it direct. We're so far the only online location selling it, but here at the Homebrew Con, we are starting to vet and bring, uh, bring in some new retail partners, which we're really excited about. Cool. It's been a long journey. We started on Kickstarter, um, got crowdfunded, got people like you out there um, supporting us and giving us a enough energy to move forward with the product and, and make it happen. So we're just super hyped to finally be here with ourselves, with our energy. We're a simple mom and pop shop. We do this with the help of my mom, my dad, my two boys and my wife in our garage in Grass Valley, California. Labor of California. love. It's a labor, <laughs> it's all heart. This is all heart, people. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, Anthony, I really appreciate you talking to us about your product. Okay, and uh, I will send everyone over with a link down below. And if you want to see more updates at the National Homebrew Conference, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video. This has been Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. We'll see you on the next video.